Hey you, you know what time it is, it's the end of the month, so that means it's time to sit down, get comfortable, pour your little something to drink, listen to the police sirens, and let's chit chat! I always ask this at the beginning of the videos, what are you drinking? I love it when you put it in the comments. I'm actually drinking some really, really hot, hot um, chocolate. This is gingerbread chocolate, and I had to wait for this to cool down before I could film. Anyway, uh, there are some little gingerbread marshmallow guys in there. Way too many marshmallows. I just Instagrammed a picture of this. But if you want the recipe, I did a whole post on hacks for your coffee, your tea, and your hot chocolate. So be sure to stop by the blog to see the recipe for this and a whole bunch more. And my mug of the month is a Santa Claus on a train. My mama gave me this. So um, if you are interested in giving me a, a mug for the month, you know what to do. Email me. It's there and it's also down below. Cheers. Do I have something on my face? This mug is Christmassy. It's cute. And speaking of Christmas, it's December. How was your Christmas? How were your holidays? I would love to know that. I went back home to where I'm from, South Georgia, in case you cannot detect the accent. I know it sounds, you can't even hear it. But I wanted to include just a couple of clips at Christmas at my mom's house with all the grandbabies and Christmas at my grandmother's house on my dad's side where it's more adults and it's a bit more quiet. Just so you can see the difference between them so check out these quick clips we are here at my grandmother's house I just picked this orange off of the tree sorry it's blurry but what it's like in South Georgia the orange trees at nighttime. Here's my family outside my grandmother's house. We're all filming. We're all taking pics. It was a lot of fun, a lot of chaos. I came back early because we were supposed to have bad weather, which we are having right now. I swear every time I film, it's storming or something. We're under a flash flood watch right now. But anyway, um, had a great Christmas and I got to spend a lot of time with my nieces and nephews individually. So that was really fun. They're at that age where Santa is just like a big thing. And since I live five hours away, they don't really know who I am when they were little. So now that they're older, they're like, okay, you're our aunt we could play blah 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 and I got to have some one-on-one -on -one time with them. It was a wonderful Christmas and I want to know what your favorite thing was that you received or if you didn't like anything something that you gave that you liked over the holidays and I thought I would share just a few of my favorite things right now. One of my favorite gifts I received is this Victor and Rolf Bonbon bon perfume. I Instagram this. Is it not gorgeous? I'll put it in front of my face. It's so cute. It's supposed to look like, you know, Bonbon bon, like a candy. It smells super sweet. Another beauty item was one of those that, you know, when you go to Sephora or Ulta, you have those items that you swatch and then maybe you even walk around with them and you never buy them. That was me with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. In case you haven't seen this beautiful creature, here it is. I know some of you got the blush palette, but I wanted the highlighting palette because I'm addicted to highlighting products. I did a video I think eight months ago where I shared like my collection of highlighters but I never uploaded it. So if you want me to make a new one and include this, I'll be happy to do that. And speaking of palettes, on Instagram I did the 31 days of palettes just so you guys could see some of my collection. I have close to 50 palettes of different kinds and I thought you guys would enjoy that. So if you haven't checked that out on Instagram, be sure to do so. Something else else that I got for Christmas that I wanted the dang blanket scarf I mean like this is how you wear it right right now this thing is huge and every blogger in the world has one. I love it. It's comfortable. It's great and I finally got my hands on one. So thank you Santa. I got a bunch of mugs that will be making appearances in future coffee and chit chats so I'm not going to share those here but I did get some random things. I think you're going to think I'm crazy as if you don't already but I can't wait to share them. The first thing is this veggie, veggetti, veggie thing. You put your vegetables in here, you grind them up and they come out like spaghetti. It's kind of like vegetable pasta and I'm so excited to try this like I cannot wait. Pasta is one of my favorite things in the world so 
so to have a healthier alternative to this would be awesome. Another gift that I got is this Kanu car adapter. Put this into the air vent, you pop your phone in, you can view, view it horizontally, vertically, you know, whatever you want to do, and it is perfect. I've tried a lot of these because I travel a lot and commute a lot, and this is the best one. I am in love with it. It keeps your phone right there. It stays where you need it to. You could do GPS. I use it to watch your videos when I'm commuting from work in the evenings, and it is awesome. I told y'all these are going to be random. I grew up in South Georgia. My family and I grew up around 90 minutes from the the beach and from the time that I have been able to walk I have been taught to search for shark's teeth and if you aren't in the Atlantic Ocean that might not make any sense to you if you didn't grow up near there but shark's teeth that are petrified that look like this they stick out in the sand there's all different sizes and it's just something that my family has always done. We just, whenever we go to the beach, it's what we do. And my grandmother would always keep them in this glass box that she had. It's kind of like one of those things that's a symbol of her, like it makes me think of her. I know you can think of something that reminds you of your grandmother or your one of your grandparents. Maybe it's a pipe for your grandfather, a piano, something. So this always makes me think of her in addition to beauty stuff since she's a beautician. But anyway, she always had one. It's still there at her house with shark's teeth. So she gave one to me, she gave one to my sister, and it just had has shark's teeth that she's collected in it. My dad threw in some arrowheads because he's an arrowhead hunter as a hobby and I just, I just thought it was random but really cool. It's just a nice sentimental thing. So December was fast. 2014 really flew by and had a lot of ups and downs both personally, professionally and some things you know I learned my lesson from it. I get it. I understand and then there's some I just don't understand why they happen like why these things happen into my family and stuff like that but I had a goal for the year and I had like this mantra and it was to be vulnerable. Being a blogger you've got to be vulnerable. You've got to open yourself up and as a shy, quiet, reserved person who's very introverted that has been very very hard for me and I said this year I'm tired of being the girl that just walks into the room and hides. I am going to be you know more extroverted and really put myself out there and be vulnerable. I started that by posting pictures of myself something I used to never do ever. I was just too shy I would just post pictures of the makeup I started making videos and I've done that for a year which you can tell if you look from the beginning my video um, presence I guess has improved. I used to get so nervous that I would like break out in hives which sometimes you'll still see it on my neck. Don't look for that now but sometimes I would get like really red on my neck and I would just get so nervous that I would throw up afterwards or sometimes before. I know that's it's absolutely crazy but I was just so nervous. So being vulnerable, putting myself out there is something I've really, really worked on. I wanted to do more personal posts and I've absolutely done that whether I've talked about, you know, why I take selfies. It's not a vanity thing. Um, talking about my depression, talking about my social anxiety and really working on that social anxiety. I did one blogging event in 2013 and this year I did several. I went to a blogger conference. So I'm really proud of the of the progress that I've made and know that you can't make everybody happy and you have to be vulnerable because there are going to be people no matter what that just don't like you you know for whatever reason they don't like you. Once you accept that and let go it is it makes your life so much easier and you just take that big breath of fresh air. So I really worked on that this year. Definitely going to continue to do that next year. And speaking of goals in my November chit chat video I started this initiative called just a little something and it's for 30 days where you do just something small we're not talking some big grand huge making a ton of changes at once just a little change and to see how it worked for you and I love seeing what you guys have talked about with it I started off saying I wanted to drink more water and that was my goal for the month and I absolutely have done that at work I've had nothing but water so that's really improved and I'm going to continue that on into the next year so my goal for January is going to be to read a book I know that sounds so silly. I know many of you read tons of books a month, a week, but I just, since I started getting serious about blogging, I have no time. And any time that I'm trying to do something and relax, like watch a movie or watch TV, I think I could be blogging, I could be visiting somebody's blog, I could be, you know, networking and doing all this. So, 
to make myself sit down and read a book is a challenge I'm looking forward to. I'm going to read Cheryl Strayed's Wild since it's being made into a movie and I have like this weird rule that I want to read the book before I see the movie. I um, own her book Dear Sugar I think it's called. She's an excellent writer so I've had this one Wild sitting in my Kindle for like a year so I'm finally going to read it and I would love for you to participate in the Just a Little Something. You could check out this hashtag below. Let me know on your social media how you're doing with it. You don't have to read a book if you don't want to. You can choose anything you want but um, this is my goal for the month. I have lots of things in store for 2015 and I'm so glad that you guys are taking the journey with me and continuing to watch my videos. I want to thank you so much for everybody that has watched, that's given me a thumbs up, that's left that's left me a positive comment, you mean so much to me. And if I am not subscribed to your channel, please let me know in a non-spammy way because those get deleted, I never see them, but please let me know so that way I can be sure to stop by your channel. And it is the end of the video, the end of the year. It's New Year's Eve and I have a New Year's Eve tutorial. It's the video that came before this one. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Have a great New Year's Eve. Be safe. Definitely be safe tonight. Behave. Well, a little. Be well. Love, L. Bye, y'all.